Wake up, wake up! It's time for the Daily Planet 5D, episode number 6. Get your news! Get your news right here! Okay, that was that was supposed to be an old newsboy thing. Most people won't get it. I don't know. Hi, welcome to Planet 5D. I'm Planet Mitch. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the features that uh, we have for gathering HDSLR news over on Planet5D.com. I think that some people may get a little confused because they may see several different ways to get your news. And in fact, that's what we have. And I'm going to try to get you a fourth way, but I'm not ready to announce that yet. All right, so there's three main ways of getting your HDSLR news on Planet 5D. And not, let me rephrase that. And none of the three really duplicate news. So it's not sort of just like three different orientations of the news. It's three separate news feeds. And I wanted to do it that way so that you would have the ability to get a different slice of the news or all sets of slices of the news. I don't know if that's making any way any sense. Anyway, the first way, of course, is the blog. And I'm going to jump over to the computer and show you how to do all three of these. So here's the blog. And one of the things I'm going to work on in doing these videos is to stop saying so all the time. So here's the blog. Most of you are very familiar with the blog and clicking on any one of these items gets you the news, right? But there are there are other news stories that I would like to highlight and they come in via the other two methods, all right? Now, um if you are subscribed to the Planet 5D daily email, then what you get comes out of the daily blog. But we also have the news aggregator and the HDSLR scoop news. Now, you can get to all three of these, and I'm going to also show you a couple of more little things about the rest of the site really fast today. But you can get to the blog and the news and the scoop news all right in the top menu of the all of the sections of Planet 5D. So let's go to the news aggregator. Now what in the world is a news aggregator? And that's what comes up when you click on the news icon in the menu bar. The HDSLR news page, and there's a little blurb here at the top because it was broken for several weeks, and I probably ought to get rid of that now because it's been fixed for a while. But I always want to say thanks to Sam over at Host Duplex because he's an awesome guy. Anyway, so in the HDSLR news page itself, what we want to do, the goal is to show you all of the other blogs. And of course, nobody else in, in the planet does this. Everybody wants to keep their own news to themselves and their own readers to themselves. But here at Planet 5D, we want to share everything. So the first section, of course, is Planet 5D stuff. You get to see the blog up here at the top. And and note, that, and it's a little hard to see. And I can't, I probably could change this, but I've never tried to figure out how. But it says new here. So things that you haven't clicked on yet show up as new. And the ones you've seen before don't show up as new. But you can roll over them and see a summary of or the first top section of the story, if you want. So there's Planet 5D blog, and then there's the cinema section, and then there's the forums, which we're going to talk about a little bit. But you can quickly get to the forums if you want to. But then comes the HDSLR news segment. And we've gathered a whole bunch of the major players in the blogging arena about HDSLR. You can see Hurlbut Visuals and Vincent LaFerre and Philip Bloom and all the big guys here. DSLR News Shooter, Learning DSLR Video with Dave Dugdale, the C47's here, No Film School's here. So all the big guys are here. Nino, Cinema 5D, Canon 5D Tips, Photo City News, blah, blah, blah. All right, so it goes on and on. There's also a couple of other sections at the bottom for some rumors. If you're looking for rumors, we can get you the, the rumor news. Or if you just want to learn something about digital video, there are some, some websites like ProLost, although uh, Stu Masowicz, Mash, I'm sorry, Stu Mashowitz, uh, usually co can cover some HDSLR stuff. 
he also covers other things. So I kind of put him in the DSLR video or the digital video section. And then there's Fresh TV and a whole bunch of other sub, uh, people in the digital video segment. Then there's an H international section, which I don't think anybody else covers. So if you want a summary of the uh, international DSLR news, you can come right here to get that stuff. And then I threw in some of the popular photography blogs way down at the bottom if you're interested in those, plus uh, creative live training at the bottom. So many people, and I said so again, many people have bookmarked the HDSLR news as their place to stop the first thing in the morning. So they can come here, find out what's new in all those other blogs, instead of having to open each one of them up individually, they can say, oh, there's an article I'm interested in, and go read it directly from here. Pretty cool, huh? All right. The next segment is something relatively new that I started, was the Scoop News. It takes me about 30 minutes on average to post a blog entry over on Planet 5D. I have to gather the images, I have to gather uh, text and links and blah, 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 blah. And so I was always looking for a place that I could do some quick posts. And it's, it's with Scoop, or from Scoop It, uh, it's a very simple process to uh, go to a web page, use their little um, bookmarklet in my browser to create these entries. And all you have to do is kind of get a quick overview. And say, if you want to read the article, then you click on the title, or you can click on the image and go straight to the uh, to the article. Uh, but we give you a little snippet of the the story, and so you can get quite a few of the HDSLR news stories that I didn't quite have time to work into the blog itself, and it's not being covered by other folks in necessarily in the DSLR, in the HDSLR news page, so you won't see the other, it's not something in one of the other blogs. So this is the third place to go to get that. Now, if you're following me on Twitter, you will see my uh, HDSLR scoop tag, and that will show you that what's being posted here. If you just purely want, uh, I sh let me open a new tab here, and I, I apologize for not doing that before, but if you go to Twitter, twit.com, and Planet 5D, and many of you follow me as Planet Mitch, uh, Planet 5D is a Twitter ID that purely posts what is showing up on the HDSLR news page, on the Planet 5D blog page, and the HDSLR scoop news, all of those items show up over here on the Planet 5D Twitter ID. And it's, a, it's an automated tool. Uh, so if you want to subscribe to or follow Planet 5D, then you'll get a link for every event that happens on the HDSLR news page, the scoop news page, and the Planet 5D blog. You get all those tweeted to you in one spot. Now I haven't been able to find a tool that will automatically post that all on Facebook yet, but if you if you want to follow that idea on Twitter, that's the place to go. Now I also post all that stuff on my Twitter, Planet Mitch, but I also post other stuff and if you if you're just purely looking for the news, then the Planet 5D Twitter ID is the place to go. Hope that makes sense. Alright. So uh, and I said so again. I also wanted to remind you about our forums over in Planet 5D forums. That's also in the top of the um, title bar, the menu bar. Uh, one of the nice things about our forums is that you can sign in with Twitter. So if you click on the sign in link and you can scroll down here, you can you can create an ID with Twitter or Facebook and not have to go through the massive registration process. So if you want to just sign in with Twitter, you click on that icon and bang, you're in the Planet 5D forums. And there's all sorts of people chatting about stuff over there. And last but not least, wrong direction, don't forget about the Planet 5D cinema with the latest entry is called Epimethus. See, I picked the things that are hard to say. All right. Uh, oh, one last thing that I wanted to tell you about. I've recently been uh, had several giveaways going on. 
the current one is for the Switronics Torch Bolt LED, uh, which you can win by entering that over on Planet 5D. And I wanted to announce that there were there were several winners recently that we gave away. Uh, we gave away th uh, three, two Rode VideoMic Pros, thanks to the folks at over at Rode. And the two winners for that were Zach Eubank and Brent Pierce. Musicbed let us give away three licenses for music's music's music for videos. And the winners for that are, and I'm going to botch this one, Voldemir Kachabua. Par, sorry, sorry if I said that wrong. Sam Kwan and Wesley Versteg. And then lastly, uh, just the last one that... that uh, bleh. See, my tongue doesn't work all the time. The last item we gave away is the book called Beautiful Innocence. And Phil Snap was the winner on that. So we do give away the things uh, that we say we're going to give away. And please go ahead and enter that Torch Bolt LED and free battery pack giveaway. You've got till the end of June to win that. We've got at least one more giveaway coming up in the month of July. Oh, and I know I've still got a Drobo to give away, believe it or not. I found a box the other day. <laughs> that last Drobo that I was supposed to give away. So i got to give that away coming up soon on Planet 5D. So keep your eye open for that one. Thanks again for watching Planet 5D.